Hello dear all, welcome to Sunday Education Academy. I am Santosh Vag. In this video, we will see question number 1 of exercise 14.2, chapter factorization, class 8 mathematics. So, let's start our video and see how to use identities to find the factors of given expression. See the question number 1 of exercise 14.2, chapter factorization, class 8 mathematics. In this question, what is asked, factorize the following expressions. In the expressions, there are 8 sub questions, we will see one by one. The first is a square plus 8a plus 16. Now, in this expression, we will first see whether this expression is fit to the identity. Now, let's see what are the identities. So, these are the identities. We know we have studied it, all these identities. First is a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Means, we have to find or check whether this expression is fit is fitting in this identity first is this identity second is a minus b b square a minus b bracket square is equal to a square minus 2 a b plus b square and third one is in the bracket a plus b and second bracket a minus b then answer is a square minus b square if we find this expression in this then we can say the factors are like this now we have seen what are the factors what are the factors for natural numbers and what are the factors for algebraic expressions i will again repeat factors are those which further cannot be reduced these are the final factors and these are the irreducible factors of that algebraic expressions now see this is the first sum here is given a square plus 8b 8a plus 16 means there are three terms so we can judge there are three terms in the first two identities so this can be or this may be there if the first term and second term this is the first term and this is the last term these are the perfect squares also in this expression a square is perfect square a is perfect square and 16 is also perfect square and what is the next condition the middle term middle term is the is double the multiplication of first and second this a and b it is a double of multiplication of a and b so let's see here here a it is given now see here a is equal to a and b is equal to this is last term 16 isn't it so it is perfect square and it is a perfect square of 4 isn't it so we can write b as a 4 so if this is the condition and middle term 8a 8a is nothing but multiplication of this a and b and double let let double it right here a and b as a 4 we are getting 8a so all these three conditions are satisfied so this is the type of identity isn't it where this first a is a and b is nothing but 4 here b is nothing is nothing but 4 so we can write these factors of this as a plus b means 4 a plus 4 bracket square isn't it so these are the factors of this expression if we solve this we will again get this a means a square then 4 into a and get double means 8a and square of the last term that is 16 so by using this identity we find the factor of this algebraic expression so it is very important to memorize the identities now again see we can directly write the factors of this expression as a plus 4 bracket square but it must be fit in the identities and to know whether we can use the identity just confirm the first term must be square last term must be square and the middle term middle term must be multiplication must be double the multiplication of this first term and the last term square root isn't it so here a plus 4 is the a plus 4 bracket square these are the factors so factors are a square plus 8a plus 16 factors are 
a plus 4 and bracket square means that is also is equal to a plus 4 in one bracket and a plus 4 in other bracket so these are the factors of this expression now so, uh, now see so the second sum of this question number one exercise 14.2 factorize the following expression this expression is given b, p square minus 10 p plus 25 now again we will check whether this expression to factorize this expression whether we can use any identity we know there are three identities here we have seen in the last sum that a plus b bracket square and this is the expression now what is the second identity a minus b bracket square and this is the expression and third is a plus b in the second bracket a minus b we will get a square minus b square now in this expression there are three terms and middle term is having negative sign so we can cross check whether it is suitable for this second identity but for that the first term and the last term must be perfect square because this is a square and this is a b square isn't it so here p square this first term is a perfect square p square and the last term 25 these are perfect square isn't it so our first criteria is okay what is the square of this square root of this is this is a perfect square of p and number 5 respectively isn't it so these are the perfect square this is our first criteria is okay now let's see now let's cross check second criteria means the middle term this middle term of expression must be double double the multiplication of this p and 5 isn't it so what is the multiplication of p and 5 that is 5 p and if we multiply it by 2 we will get 10 p and as it is minus sign so this expression this identity we can use that a minus b bracket square is equal to a square minus 2 a b plus b square where here a is equal to here is p isn't it and b is equal to here 5 isn't it so we can factorize this expression as a minus b bracket square so factors of p square minus 10 p plus 25 is equal to right here a minus b a means p and b means 5 so p minus 5 bracket square so these are the factors of this expression so this is our final answer and we got by using the identity number 2 now see the third sum of this question number 1 for exercise 14.2 here expression is given 25 m square plus 30 m plus 9 again we will cross check whether this expression to factorize this expression whether we can use the any identity we know there are three identities here that we have seen that a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square now there are three terms and in this expression also there are three terms but what are the what are the conditions the first term and second last term must be perfect square here 25 m square 25 m square and the last term 9 these are perfect square perfect square perfect square of 25 m square is perfect square of 5 m and 9 is perfect square of 3 now what is the second criteria this middle term must be double the multiplication of this 5 m and 3 this middle term must be double the this a and this factor a and b double the multiplication of this a and b so this term is 30 m is whether we will cross check whether it is double means double of these two factors 5m and multiplication of this 5m and 3 if we multiply 5m and this factor 3 and if we get double of this we must get 5 into 3 15 15 into 2 30 30m I means this second criteria is also okay 
so we can use and there is plus sign so we can use this first identity what is identity a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square here a is equal to this 5m and b is equal to this 3 so factors of these 25m square plus 30m plus 9 is equal to put this a plus b means 5m and 3 means 5m plus 3 bracket square so these are the factors of this expression which we got using the first identity now see in this exercise all the sums are related to these identities we will just find which identity is suitable for this expression now see the fourth sub question of question number one exercise 14.2 we have to factorize this expression now if we see the identities these three identities we can compare as there are three terms there are three terms we can and middle term is having positive sign so we can cross check whether first identity is suitable for or not isn't it we will just cross check whether this first identity is suitable for this expression or not in this expression the first term is 49 y square and what what are the criteria the first term and last term must be perfect square and what is second criteria this middle term must be double the multiplication of this a and b isn't it so here first term is 49 y square and last term is 36 z square so these are these are perfect square isn't it what is the square root perfect squares these are perfect squares of 49 y square is perfect square of 49 is square of 7 and y square is square of y so it is perfect square of 7 y and this 36 is square of 6 and z square is square of z so it is 6 z so these two terms are perfect square of this 7 y and 6 z what is the second criteria if we take the multiplication of these two factors 7 y and 6 z and if we double it we must get the this middle term so just multiply this 7 y into 6 z and take the double of this product we must get this middle term so 7 into 6 42 42 into 2 84 and this y and z as it is so here also we are getting the we are getting the middle term as the double the product of this 7y and 6z so here what is a and what is b if we use this identity here a is here we, we are we, we are using the identity a plus b bracket square as a square plus 2ab plus b square where a is equal to in this expression see a is equal to 7y 7y and b is equal to this 6z so what will be the factors of this expression 49 y square plus 84 y z plus 36 z square factors will be a plus b bracket square here a is 7y 7y and b is 6z bracket square so these will be the factors of this expression which we got using the identity a plus b bracket square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square it is very easy to use identity but just find the criteria whether it is suitable for this identity or not here first identity is suitable so we are finding the factors of this expression as 7y plus 6z bracket square now see the next uh, sum that 4x square minus 8x plus 4 that expression we have to factorize and here again we will use the identity just set just find which identity is suitable for this there are three terms and middle term is having negative sign now what are the criteria for identities 
first term and last term of this expression must be perfect square and the middle term must be double the multiplication of this a and b so let's find whether it is true for this expression or not here 4x square minus 8x plus 4 here first term is 4x square first term is 4x square which is the perfect square of 2x isn't it this 4x square and the last term is 4 these are these terms are perfect square these are perfect squares and what are the square root 4x square square root is 2x and square root of 4 is 2 so here the first term is also perfect square and last term is also perfect square now what is the next criteria next criteria if we take the multiplication of these two 2x and 2 and if we double it we must get the middle term so just multiply this 2x into 2 and take double of this we will get 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 8x again here we are getting the middle term here now see here middle term is having negative sign so we can use the second identity that a minus b bracket square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square where here a is equal to 2x and b is equal to 2 so which will be the factors of this expression 4x square minus 8x plus 4 factors will be a minus b bracket square where a is 2x and b is 2 bracket square now see here again here we can take out 2 as a common so further we can reduce so take 2 outside the bracket there will be big bracket this 2 outside the bracket remaining will be here x and here minus 1 and bracket square like now this 2 square we can write as 4 2 square we can write as 4 and in the bracket x minus 1 bracket square so this will be the factors of this expression isn't it here 4 will be the one factor x minus 1 will be the one factor and x minus 1 again will be the another factor so there will be the three factors of this expression now see the next sub question this expression 121 b square minus 88 bc plus 16 c square for this expression we have to find the factors now here again we will use the identity and check which identity will be suitable for this expression here to use identity we must find whether first term and last terms are perfect square so let's see this 121 is the first term and the last term is 16 c square these are perfect square these are perfect square which are the square roots perfect square of 121 is the square of 11 and this b is a b square is square root of b square is the square root of b so 121 is the perfect square of 11 and b square is the perfect square of b so this first term 121 b square is perfect square of 11 b and last term is 16 c square which is the perfect square of 4 c isn't it so here first criteria satisfied let's see the second criteria this middle term this middle term must be double the multiplication of this 11 b into 4 c let's check 11 b into 4 c into 2 if we take this 11 into 4 44 44 into 2 88 88 this b and this variable as it is so here again we will we are getting the same term that 88 bc so here we can use the identity a minus b because middle term is having negative sign so here we will use identity a minus b bracket square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square so factors of this expression are a minus b bracket square 
so factors of this expression will be here a is 11b and b is equal to 4c so factors of 121b square minus 88bc plus 16c square are a minus b a means 11b and b means 4c and that bracket square isn't it so 11 b minus 4 c bracket square these are the factors of this expression which we found by using this second identity now see the next sub question in this expression is given in the bracket l plus m bracket square minus 4 l m now again we will use the identities but before that we must simplify this expression means just simplify this l plus m bracket square as l square plus 2 l m plus m square and this minus 4 l m as it is now l plus m bracket square we put here l square plus 2 l m plus m square by using this identity a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square isn't it here a is l and b is m so l square plus multiplication of these two factors and take double of this multiplication plus square of the last term that's m square and minus 4 lm as it is now see here this minus 4 lm and this 2 lm we can combine and we can write l square this minus 4 lm plus 2 lm is nothing but minus 2 lm plus m square why because this minus 4 and this plus 2 become minus 2 and this lm has common now we got this expression new expression whether now see which identity we can use here there are three terms first term this l square and this last term m square these are perfect square l square and m square are perfect square and what perfect squares of this L and M isn't it and what is the next criteria for this identity middle term this 2 L M must be double the multiplication of this square roots of this first term and last term that is double the multiplication of this L and M that is 2 L M where we are getting here now there is negative sign so we can use this second identity a minus b square so a minus b bracket square this identity we can use that a square minus 2 a b my plus b square where here a is equal to l and b is equal to m so factors of this expression l square minus 2 l m plus m square are a minus b bracket square where a is l and b is m so l minus l minus m bracket square so these are will be the factors of this expression original expression is l plus m bracket square minus 4 lm which is nothing but equal to l square minus 2 lm plus m square and factors by using the identity a minus b bracket square we are getting l minus m bracket square so these are the factors of this expression now see the last sub question of this question number one factor the following expression for exercise 14.2 expression is given a raised to 4 plus 2 a square b square plus b raised to 4 here again we will use the identity whether and cross check which identity is suitable for this expression and criteria to use the identity is first term and last term must be perfect square first criteria now see the first term is a square here first term is a square and last term is b a raised to 4 sorry first term is a raised to 4 and last term is b raised to 4 these are perfect square these are perfect squares which are the square roots perfect squares of a raised to 4 is perfect square of a square and b raised to 4 is perfect square of b square so these are the square roots now what is the second criteria middle term middle term 
if we take the multiplication of these two factors a square into b square and if we multiply it by 2 we must get the middle term so here again we are getting the middle term as 2 a square b square so both criteria are satisfied and there is plus sign so we can use this first identity that a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square means factors of this expression are a plus b now in this expression we, we are getting a as this a square and b as b square isn't it so factors of this expression given expression a raised to 4 plus 2 a square b square plus b raised to 4 factors will be a my a plus b bracket square where a is a square and b is b square and bracket square so these will be the factors of this expression which we got by using the first identity that a plus b bracket square this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you